guys what's going on it's me destiny here welcome back to my channel i'm coming to you guys with a favorites video it's been about 15 years since i've done one of these videos about six years since i've made a video um actually this is a like full face of favorites so i used all of my favorite products and i did this face as you can see and i absolutely love it this is definitely my favorite kind of face to do if I am going to do makeup and put effort into it. This is about what you're gonna get. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. So first up, when doing this face, I went in with the It Cosmetics by By Lines Serum. As my phone dies. I went in with the By By Lines Serum. And I absolutely love this. I love the texture, honey, the way it feels on your skin. The way it makes your your skin feel. The way products wear on top of this is absolutely positively upper echelon, honey. This is, this is like low, I don't know if this is underrated. I want to say this is underrated, but I don't know how people feel about it, but this is really good. You guys really need to check this out. I'll have the link in the bottom bar. After applying that, I went in with the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I've had this for a while. I feel like I've slept on this because this thing is so good. I really, really like the packaging, but I have a tendency to just scrape off pieces and then use it rather than rub it on my skin. But I absolutely love this. It's a thick, like silica kind of texture. It makes your skin feel silky, fills in pores. It's a really, really, really great product. And usually I'm leaning toward matte stuff. While this stuff is not matte, it's definitely more for the texture. And MAD products actually also work really, really well for the texture. Okay, honestly, um, I start this look out with my brows and I've been using a product from Axe and I'm in love with it. It's a matte wax. I lost the top and if you know me, you know. I lose tops. <laughs> I take the top off something and I don't put it back. Um, but I absolutely love this. It's called Matte Wax Axe, that's it. Okay, I'll probably try to have a picture in there for you guys so you can check it out. But I absolutely have been loving this for the brows lately. You brush it into your brows and it makes all the other work that you do really easy. Now, because I use brow powders is why I'm in love with this wax. Wax and powder work famously together. Any kind of liquid and powder combination in makeup cream and powder, anything like dewy, anything moist, anything humectant, and powder is gonna be really good. So I use this um, brow palette from Anastasia. I've had this for years. I pretty much only use chocolate, ebony, and granite on my brows, but it's really great to have if you're a makeup artist. I've been using this for a long time now. Sometimes I use my brow pen, and I have other products that I love, but that's definitely a staple. On the tail of my brows, I love the Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Liner, okay? Because it's the area of my brow that needs the most um, staying power. And it's the part of my brow that usually disappears the quickest. You know, just scratching your face and, you know, doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> I feel like that's the area of your brow that goes the quickest. So after my brows, I go in and I do my eyes. And some of you may or not know, but I have actually launched my own cosmetic brand, you guys. I used my own makeup palette today for this look and I'm absolutely in love with the color selection in this palette. So the colors I used are Drip and Scuba and I used a little bit of Honey, which is this beautiful, warm, brown, bronzy color. This is foundation, okay, because that's just who I am. But I use this in the inner tear duct and you guys, it is so beautiful. It's such a soft, easy going look. It's nothing too overdone, whatever that may mean to you, but it's definitely really pretty and really polished and good to go, honey. So after those primers, I went in with my foundation and if you guys know, you know, if you know me, you know. Okay, Lancome is definitely my foundation of choice. There are so many other foundations that I love that I've been using lately. Charlotte Tilbury. I absolutely love Fenty Ease Drop. I think I put a video out about those. Um, the NARS Soft Matte, Urban Decay Naked, um, Estee Water. Actually, I did a TikTok about some of my favorite foundations. The Anastasia I really like a lot. 
but you guys know that Lancome is my favorite. But the reason I really wanted to kind of talk about that is because also as the center face color for my foundation, um, I use the Tante Dole Ultra Wear Concealer and I absolutely love them. I'm color 500, it's a warm color and it just, oh my God, so beautiful and so creamy. It doesn't have a harsh dry down, but it doesn't, it's not like goo, it's kind of like, I don't even want to call it a demi matte. I guess you could say this is natural. And I feel like it would be really great for all skin types, oily combination dry skin, especially because it's just so beautiful. You guys know that I would never speak out negatively against Lancome. Like, babe, like, it's so good. I have to do a review for you guys. You guys are gonna love it if you haven't tried it. I will have the link in the bottom bar, honey. You need to go. <laughs> also, I used a really great matte concealer and I stuttered when I said that because baby this thing is matte. I feel like I've talked about it with you guys before. It's the Natasha Denona Trans Fix Matte Concealer and I like this. You know why I like this? Because this thing stays in place and I like to go in and do detailed highlighting in my face because there are areas that may need a little more volume. There are areas that just, you wanna sculpt and you wanna give yourself a natural highlight without any shimmer. And this thing, it stays in place so well. I wouldn't use too much of this directly underneath my eye area, unless you are really young or have a oily under eye. Um, but this thing for highlighting, and really building those facial features and really playing with light. This is a really great concealer. So you definitely wanna check that out. And it also has a really great color variety. So for cream bronzer, I used Bobbi Brown in Espresso and I absolutely love this cream. Now you guys are very familiar with the fact that I've used the Bobbi Brown powder foundation for contour, bronzer, bronzer, honey. This is absolutely amazing because when you use a cream product to contour, or to do your bronzer, it's like you're really building it into your bone structure. It looks so natural. Um, and make sure, because I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, that's a lot of products. I cannot put all that products. I live here, I live there. Make sure you're not using too much product. You'll see that I apply this with a really small brush and that's to keep a nice control on it. That's to make sure I'm not using the, too much. That's to make sure it's not blending out too far and getting out of control honey it's all about detail it's all about your tools making sure you're using the proper size tools making sure you're using the proper shapes it's really really important and all the tools in this video are definitely favorites from those fan brushes that you see me using all over my face and under eye absolutely amazing you know really unique nice small detail fan brushes i don't even know how i've been doing makeup without them honey just amazing and then you guys know that i have the long handle kabuki brushes which i love i've used these for foundation i use these for powder i use these for bronzer contour so many different things really really great versatile brushes okay so for my powder it's actually another product that i recently released i'll have the link in the bottom bar this is my hd powder this is not a finishing powder. Um, excuse me. You see, I'm getting ahead of myself. Ooh, this is not a setting powder. This is more of a finishing powder. This is when you want to go in with your detailed brush and you want to blend out edges. You want to add a little light here or there. You want to sweep over some pores. You want to soft set, which is what I use it for. You guys know what soft setting is. Whether or not you took my class, you should know what soft setting is. And I'll have the link to my class in the bottom bar. But soft setting is the step after you do your foundation and all your cream products right before you bake. Soft set your face, do a wash of powder, go in, do your baking, do your bronzer. You are going to love the results. So I've been loving the HD powder for that because 
it just makes your skin look so smooth and so soft and it's not a pale harsh white it's more of a peach you guys know that peach is like every brown skin's fan from color correction to blush lip products it's a really great touch up powder as you can see it goes in and zaps up all that oil without adding any coverage or color or changing my foundation in any way um, which is why I prefer trans, um, translucent powders or powders that are kind of light because you don't want to muddy your makeup up. If you wanted to go in and take your oil away, you could use a translucent powder or white powder. Sometimes it's a little ashy for a while, but what you shouldn't do is go in with a foundation because putting foundation all over the work you did makes no sense to me. None whatsoever. Any kind of brown powder it makes no sense to me. No matter what shade you are, this has nothing to do about the shade of your skin. I wouldn't put a foundation all over my, my work. <laughs> so for this powder that I'm baking with, I actually launched these on Instagram as well. Listen, you guys, if you are watching this on YouTube right now and you like my content, follow me on Instagram. I am very, very um, active on Instagram. Okay, so these powders are on gemblender.com. I'm going to put them on thegodlyglow.com, you guys. Um, I absolutely love these powders. I am selling these pretty much as a third-party vendor. And honey, I absolutely love this, this color. The one I'm using is called Banana Bread. And it's just a beautiful golden color. It looks so good on the skin. It's so rich. I'll have the link in the bottom bar. You guys can check that out. I have three colors. It's a really great product. Definitely something that I don't talk a lot about. I also have some cream blush that I'm really excited about. These are so bright and so pretty. And they work so well on so many tones. Like I really love this warm pink. It's fire engine orange, hot, hot orange color. And then I have a really nice kind of like poppy color. Okay, so for this glow, which I'm in love with, <laughs> you guys know that I love blush. And if you don't know, now you know. I can't, I can't say the next word, but you guys know that I love blush. And if you don't, honey, this is me telling you right now, I love blush. Some of my first videos on YouTube were blush videos. You guys remember La Femme? Okay, so this is my blush collection, which I am extremely proud of, beamingly proud. I worked really hard on this color selection because I wanted it to be something that was versatile. I wanted something that all different skin tones could use, but you guys know that I did focus on darker skin complexions because baby, when you use the correct blush tone and you're darker complected, it just looks so beautiful and so flattering and don't get me wrong we look beautiful and flattering without it but i think it's one of those things in makeup that can be really intimidating you know along with bright lip colors sometimes blush can just be really hard because you don't know what color to wear for your skin you don't know what color to wear with a certain eye look so that is something i thought about when constructing this palette these colors are universal you know, this great looks great with brown eyes, eye makeup, blue eye makeup, green eye makeup, red eye makeup, neutral tones, metallics. These are really going to be really, really easy to work with. And I'm wearing this highlighter right now and I'm in love with it. So definitely make sure to cop one of these palettes because I'm only gonna do one more restock. Um, I launched on Instagram and um, I'm gonna do one more restock for YouTube and I hope you guys pick it up because maybe ah! I'm telling you like <gasps> look at these cheeks oh my god so for my setting spray I recently have really been loving the makeup forever mist and fix and I say recently because generally I'm an urban decay girl like all of my favorite setting sprays are like urban decay I also like NYX. NYX does have a great setting spray, but I have been using the Makeup Forever lately, and this thing is amazing. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
this is a really, really good setting spray. I don't know if you guys have ever tried it. If you're on the market for a setting spray, maybe it's one you want to give a try. I don't have an allegiance when it comes to setting spray. Um, honestly, I'm usually down to try high end or drugstore. Like I said, NYX has an amazing setting spray. I love that one as well. I'm getting a lot of, <laughs> I'm getting a lot of notifications right now. Um, I will have everything else that I used in this video that I didn't happen to mention because this video is really